Stood by and did nothing. Now, some of us may have worked as security guards. We, we had this discussion during first service. And the restraints that are put on security guards are, are pretty tight. They really can't do anything except call and report. Um, due to a whole lot of legalities and our Sioux happy culture. But did you see there were more than just security guards standing around? And no one stepped up to do anything. I don't know about you, but I, I saw that and it just still disturbs me. <clears throat> Apathy is the enemy of our culture and our lives. Where you can stand by and watch something like that happen and not do anything. A bus terminal, security guards there. People standing by. And the back story that makes this story even more devastating is that girl was inside a store right by the bus terminal. The teens came and started trying to beat her up. Security was called. Store security was called. And they told them to take it outside. So she went outside and found the security guards and went and stood by them so that she would be okay. Okay. Inside of me, there's something that says, I don't care about legalities. I don't care about losing your job. If that was my daughter, you know what? You better stake and defend her or I will sue you for that because you're just stupid. I got four girls. Really makes me a little bit upset. And yet... <laughs> How many things have gone on around our lives that are maybe almost at the same level of that, but yet just not as graphic, and we walk by without doing anything? How many times have you seen a kid, you've talked to a kid, and you've realized that kid, something's not right. Something's not right at home. That kid's desperate for love. And walked on by going, that's not my gift. That's not my thing. I'm so proud and, and impressed by the experienced family and how we responded to Haiti mm. and the stuff that's been done from candy, bacon, bread like crazy. A couple hundred dollars in bread, I'm so impressed. To the whole, everyone showing up on Monday for the video at Overland Park a couple weeks ago. The over $1,000 that we raised through Friday and Monday at the theaters. And yet, hasn't it become easier as you're flipping channels to see reports about Haiti and go, oh, wow, look at that. That's too bad. Hmm. I'm done. And keep surfing, hoping to find a rerun of Friends. <coughs> How many times have we seen people unemployed, about ready to lose their house, going through financial challenges, and yet we've, we've become callous to it, going, oh, it's not my problem stood by and watched people holding signs hungry on the side of the road and gone, well, they're probably going to use it for beer, so I shouldn't do that, and calloused ourselves to the needs of people around us, and we've gone apathetic in our lives. And we might say, you know, it's really an issue of time, it's an issue of priorities, it's an issue of, of these other things, but when you get right down to the heart of it, we've just become apathetic. And it may not be as graphic as this video. But the hurt and the needs and the devastation are just as great, if not greater. Apathy is the enemy. 